Second, the book was written on the way I first had experiences of the author. In the I must state, I believe you that the book Politics X and Power, elegantly written by my dear sister, Adora Sidney Jack, is very, very timely, hard, cogent, and thought provoking in the investment. As I said, I'm not a book reviewer, but again, I wouldn't have been able to make this address without looking at the book. So you see me trying to not respect the territorial integrity of the book reviewer by going into the book. Her work, politics, X and power, emerges not just as a book, but as a big one of excellence in Nigerian journalism. In other words, she doesn't look at each of these concepts by itself, but she looks at the interplay. So what does sex and politics mean? What connects the two together? It is that with sex and politics, you actually exacerbate a, if you will, exclusion that is already there. It becomes more obvious. So a woman is more likely to be reduced to her genitalia because she's female than a man is likely to be reduced to their genitalia just because they have dared to say, I want to run, I want to represent my people. Because at the heart of it all is that very word, power. And power in this context is not really about whether you're sharing resources or not. It is about the fact that when people have privileges, they are not ready to give away their privileges because they have gotten used to enjoying it. Please come because I'm transfer. Yeah, hi, this is Voice of the World, Request Station, and I'm live here at 1% International, holding it down with all my good friends, Mecca is here, Bond is here, and all the good people of 1% International.